and welcome, this is Baller Scuba with part zero of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. It's been a little while since I have done a Final Fantasy game. Final Fantasy X is a great way to get back into the franchise. And I am excited to get this Let's Play underway, but before we do, there's a couple things that I wanted to talk about and a couple questions that I had in terms of customizing the Let's Play. So let's get those underway before we get the Let's Play officially started. In terms of what I wanted to talk about when it comes to the game, as you might see there, I am playing the international version of the game. We are not watching the introduction cutscene. We will see it later, to say the least. Uh, the international version of the game is the version that I am playing because, most importantly, there is additional content. That's the main reason for that. Uh, there is content in the international version of the game that was not released in the original North American version of the game that I bought when the game came out. And here I thought 100% completed everything in the game, only later to find out that in other versions there was a whole side quest that I missed. We're going to take care of that side quest today and everything that I can do. I'm going to get as close to 100% in this game as I possibly can. I never guarantee that I get 100% in any game, but I'm going to do what I can to get as close as possible. With that said, I do want to point out that there are going to be a couple things in this game, a couple, let's call them mini games, uh, that are aggravating. Uh, in terms of getting, well, ultimate weapons. There's also uh, some grinding that's going to have to take place. There's going to be some capturing that's going to have to take place. Uh, we will take care of that. I will take care of that. I do plan on doing all of that. When I say as close to 100%, I mean as close to 100% as I can. So uh, that's the goal of this Let's Play. And I hope you guys do look forward to it. But there are some questions that I had in terms of customizing this Let's Play. I've been going back and forth in my own mind on this kind of stuff, so I'm interested to hear your guys' opinions on them. Uh, number one, and possibly most importantly, and most, uh, well, it's one of the earliest decisions in the game, isn't it? Uh, should I rename the character? Should I rename the main character of the game? I go back and forth in my head on that one. Uh, every other character in the game, every other party member, their names cannot be changed because there are voice actors in this game. This is the first Final Fantasy game with like voice dialogue throughout the entire game. And as a result, the characters say each other's names all the time, so I can't change it. However, the main character his name is never actually said, so I can change it to anything I want, and the game does ask you if you want to change it, so should I change it? If so, what should I change it to? Uh, if you say, no, don't change the character's first name, how do you want me to pronounce the character's name? Because this is something that a lot of uh, Final Fantasy fans kind of argue over. His name is spelled... T-I-D-U-S. And forever, when I first played the game, I referred to him as Titus, because that's what it looks like to me. It looks like Titus, and it is reminiscent of the tide, which is kind of water, which is kind of a major theme of the game. It's even on the main screen here. There's water there. Uh, so I thought it fit in perfectly. However, years later, a game came out and it had the character in it, and they said his name, and they said Tidus. So, officially, his name is Tidus, although I and many other people for years said Titus. So, I'm curious, if you want me to say his name and leave it as the default name, what would you like me to... How would you like me to pronounce it? Do you want me to say Titus? Do you want me to say Tidus? Those are pretty much the options. So that's kind of it for the main character. Do you want me to rename him? If so, what would you like me to call him? If not, how would you like me to pronounce Titus or Titus? Uh, that's, that's the first question. The second question is, 
Although I'm not allowed to change most of the party members' names, I am allowed to change... I'm gonna have to spoil it. They're called Aeons. I can rename Aeons in this game. Uh, if you guys are not interested in hearing uh, spoilers for the game, it's very minor spoilers, um, then this might be the end of the video for you. Hope you enjoy the Let's Play. But if you guys do know the game or don't care about names, um, there are Aeons in this game, and if... Well, they're, they're summons. They're, they're summons. They go by many names in the Final Fantasy franchise, but the most common one is summons, and that's what we're going to have. I'm going to list them uh, in the description below with a brief description of them. Uh, if you guys do want me to rename them, uh, feel free to give me names for all the different Aeons uh, throughout the game. I can think of a few that are going to be kind of throughout Final Fantasy, they're traditional Final Fantasy characters, uh, but then there are a couple that are unique to this game. Uh, but I'll give a description of all of them anyway. There's also one that's uh, kind of new as a summon, but is, is from a previous game. We'll go over that more later, but uh, those Aeons are going to be pretty important to the game. Uh, so whether I should give them kind of unique names is something that's been rattling around my head for a bit. I really could go either way. So uh, let me know if you guys want me to rename those characters and what to. With that said, that is going to do it for part zero of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm a baller scoop. I've enjoyed as always by this one screen because I won't let you guys watch the cutscene just yet. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part and I hope you look forward to the upcoming Let's Play. Thanks for watching.